In this video, we're going to create a edit button so that we can tie into the edit view that we've created already, where by clicking on this button, it's going to show our edit page. In fact, let's just remember that it's going to show something like this, EDIT. It's going to provide us a link to this page, which has our customer information, and then we'll be able to wire up a submit to cha make changes. So this is where we're headed on this video. Super easy. So we're almost there because we already have the show created. And so let's remember, based on what I just did there, that we need to create a link, an A tag on our, an anchor tag on our customer page right here that's going to link to customer and then the customer ID. So to do that, that's pretty simple. Again, I'm going to copy and paste so you don't have to watch me typing. So after our customer, put a space. I appreciate you can't see all of that right now, but we will. So let's pull this forward so that we can see it all. All right, super easy. So we have uh, our A tag. We're creating our link to our customer's um, get request. There's the ID because we already have the customer coming in. So we should be able to do this. Uh, let me refresh. I'm not sure I have the server running. I don't think I do. PHP artisan serve. And then we should be able to refresh this and have a edit button. And so that edit button should now have the proper, this proper um, route. And then if I click on it, we sure do. So now I'm going back to customers and then I'll try my own and edit and we're good to go. Um, with this. So I'm just going to again paste in, let's see if we were wanting to put in, and this is the rest of this video, we wanted to put in the rest of our address and so forth. Pretty straightforward. It's just going to be copying and pasting. So we're going to go to our customer. I guess that's here. Let me close this out. Um, okay. Yep. Yeah, there we go. So Nope, wrong one. We need to do edit, sorry. How about this one? There we go, that looks familiar. So now if we want to add do, all I have to do is copy and paste. It's gonna be pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna copy and then paste and then change first name to last name and first name to last name. last name and in the database the customer la uh, field name is also last name so if I do that then I should be able to refresh and I'm good to go and so then we can just do the same thing for the rest of the addresses city state and zip and to make typing easier for me and you can put this on hold there's the rest of that information, just copied and pasted. The only thing I did different is just bootstrap is then I added a little bit different bootstrap to accommodate an inline city, state, and zip. So inline city, state, and zip, just to clean that up a little bit. But the majority of this is just copying and pasting and doing uh, the bootstrap stuff. So now we have successfully brought in an individual customer into our edit screen. So the next thing we need to do is wire up our submit button which will save the changes.